entitled girlfriend and demands that I buy her a Gucci bag so I dump her. I'm a 29-year-old guy with a pretty sweet job. I work in finance, and I've managed to climb the ladder pretty quickly, so I'm making a pretty solid income. Now, I'm not trying to brag here, but it's important for context, trust me. Because of my job, I'm pretty good at managing my money and I like to invest and save rather than splurge on unnecessary things. However, I still enjoy the occasional treat for myself and others. Anyway, I recently started dating this girl, let's call her Emma. Emma is 25, stunningly beautiful, and honestly, she's got a magnetic personality. We hit it off, and we've been dating for about two weeks. It's been fun, and I thought we had a good thing going on. Boy, was I wrong. So last week, we were having a chill day together, and I was telling her about this incredible deal I found on some limited edition sneakers. I was really excited about it because I'm kind of a sneakerhead. She didn't seem too interested, but I thought maybe she just wasn't into shoes. I was about to let the conversation move on when she suddenly asked me, so, how much did those sneakers cost? I was a bit taken back by her question, but I told her the price, which was around $500. Then, she gave me this look like I was some kind of alien, and she says, Wow, if you can spend that much on shoes, you must be loaded. You should buy me a Gucci bag. I was like, excuse me, because first of all, we've only been dating for two weeks, and second, a Gucci bag. Like a $4,000 Gucci bag. Hell no, I'm not about to drop that kind of money on someone I barely know, even if I can technically afford it. But she didn't let up. She started going on and on about how she's always wanted a Gucci bag and how all her friends have designer bags, and she'd look so good with one, and blah blah blah. I tried to tell her that it wasn't really appropriate for her to ask for something like that, but she just rolled her eyes and said, Oh, come on. You said you make good money. It's not like it's a big deal for you. At this point, I was starting to get annoyed. I mean, I'm not opposed to treating my girlfriend to nice things, but this was a whole other level. Plus, it's not like I'm some kind of machine that just spits out designer bags on demand. So I decided to stand my ground. I told her in no uncertain terms that I wasn't going to buy her a Gucci bag. That's when she turned into a pouty little brat. She crossed her arms, stuck out her lower lip, and basically started sulking like a child. And guys, I kid you not, she kept up this act for a solid 20 minutes. She didn't say a word to me, just huffed and pouted while I tried to carry on a conversation like a normal human being. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I was actually starting to wonder if this was some kind of weird prank or hidden camera show. But no, it was very real, and I was rapidly losing my patience. Finally, after 20 excruciating minutes of her sulking, I'd had enough. I looked her dead in the eyes and said, Emma, this isn't going to work. I'm not going to be with someone who feels so entitled that they'd throw a fit over not getting a $4,000 bag after just two weeks of dating. I'm sorry, but we're done. Her jaw dropped, and I could see the shock and disbelief in her eyes. She tried to backtrack and say that she was just joking, but I could tell she wasn't. There was no hint of humor or playfulness in her attitude before. She just didn't want to face the consequences of her ridiculous behavior. I told her that I didn't want to see her anymore and that she should leave my place. She tried to argue with me and even had the nerve to call me a cheap bastard, but I stood my ground. I refused to budge on this, and I think that's what shocked her the most. Eventually, she left, still pouting and grumbling to herself. The second she was out of my apartment, I felt this huge sense of relief wash over me. I couldn't believe I dodged such a massive bullet. So that's my story of the entitled girlfriend and the Gucci bag. It still blows my mind that someone could be so demanding and immature after such a short amount of time together. I guess it just goes to show that you never really know someone until they reveal their true colors. What would you have done if you were this guy? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Story 2. Whining girlfriend won't stop complaining about my music and wants me to listen to Taylor Swift. See it. You ever have that one person in your life who just doesn't understand your taste in music? Well, for me, that person was my now ex-girlfriend. I'm a huge fan of musicians, music that's filled with real talent and art, you know what I mean. I listen to bands like Dead Can Dance, Valerie Stepanov, Highland, Enigma, and more. My girlfriend, on the other hand, was a massive Taylor Swift fan, like, borderline obsessed. I never had a problem with her taste in music, necessarily, but she just couldn't leave mine alone. It all started a few months back when we decided to move in together. Everything was going great, but there was one thing that we couldn't see eye to eye on, our music. She would constantly complain about my music, calling it weird or depressing. I tried to explain to her the beauty and art behind it, but she just wouldn't listen. It was like talking to a brick wall. Instead, she would whine and complain, asking me to play her beloved Taylor Swift songs. Now, I'm not saying I hate Taylor Swift, but I definitely didn't want to listen to her all the time. It was like living with a teenage entitled girlfriend who couldn't accept that people have different tastes in music, not to mention that the themes in her music were always dramatic and about broken relationships or getting revenge on men. I just wasn't comfortable with hearing that all of the time. Like, we are in a relationship and I thought it was going good. So why all the man-hating stuff, you know? One day, I came home after a long day at work, and I just wanted to unwind and listen to my favorite Dead Can Dance album. But as soon as I hit play, she started her usual whining. Ugh, not this again. Can we listen to something more upbeat, like Taylor Swift? 
I tried to keep my cool and explain that I just wanted to relax, but she wouldn't have it. No, we're going to listen to Taylor Swift, and you're going to like it. She yelled, snatching the remote from my hand and changing the music. I sat there in shock, wondering what happened to the girl I fell in love with. This was becoming too much. Over the next few weeks, I tried to find a compromise. I suggested we take turns choosing the music, but she would still complain and make snarky comments about my choices. I even tried creating a playlist that combined both our tastes, but she would just skip all of my songs when it was her turn to control the music. It got to a point where I couldn't take it anymore. One night, after she had belittled my taste in music for the hundredth time, I snapped. You know what? I'm done. I can't take this anymore. I don't want to be with someone who can't respect my interests and constantly makes me feel like garbage because of my music taste, I said, my voice shaking with anger and frustration. She just scoffed and rolled her eyes. Fine, whatever. It's not like I wanted to listen to your weird music anyway. That was it. The relationship was over. We decided it was best if I moved out since she could afford the apartment on her own. As I was packing my things, she tried to make small talk, but I wasn't interested. I couldn't believe I had wasted so much time on someone who couldn't even respect my interests. A few days later, I was finally ready to leave. As I loaded up my car with the last of my belongings, I couldn't help but feel a sense of freedom wash over me. As I was driving away, I decided to play Oh Man by Dead Can Dance as loud as I could stand it, just to annoy her one last time. I saw her standing on the balcony, her face a mixture of confusion and annoyance as the powerful sounds of Dead Can Dance filled the air. I couldn't help but smile, knowing that I had taken a stand for my own happiness and interests. A few weeks later, I decided to hit up a local bar that was known for playing alternative music. As I walked in, I was pleasantly surprised to hear Valerie Stepanov playing over the speakers. I felt at home instantly, and that's when I met her, a woman who shared my love for music and understood the art behind it. We spent hours talking about our favorite bands, songs, and albums, and I could tell that this was something special. At one point, I cautiously asked her if she liked Taylor Swift. She nearly spit her drink out and laughed and said, no way, and that is when we had an instant connection and decided to start dating. It felt incredible to be with someone who not only respected my taste in music but also shared it. So that's my story, the tale of a whining girlfriend, music, and finding happiness in the end. It just goes to show that sometimes, you need to let go of toxic people in your life and embrace who you truly are. And hey, if you ever find yourself in a similar situation, just remember, it's better to be true to yourself and your passions than to be with someone who won't accept you for who you are. And maybe, just maybe, turn up the volume on your favorite song and drown out the haters. Oh Man is a great song, by the way. What kind of music do you like to listen to? Would it ever come between you and your significant other? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. When you subscribe, be sure to click the notification bell. Click here for more Tangled Threats.